Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we are going to be doing something that was actually inspired by my wonderful HOA's pour the other day, his hot rod pour. He was doing a wing pour and he did this really cool thing that totally gave me an idea. So I'm really excited. I want to play with that today. We are going to be working on a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. Put my push pins in and put tape on the back. Let me show you the colors. So we're also playing with a new one for me today that I'm very excited about. This is Golden Cerulean Blue. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Very excited about this one. Not quite turquoise, but it's not light blue either. So I'm excited to see how this dries and how it's gonna play with the other things I've paired it with. I also have Arteza's Pearl Cactus Green, but I, I mad scientisted this one a little bit. <laughs> I put a little bit of glue, green in there. I put a little bit of gold in there, some emerald in there. So, but mostly pearl cactus green with a little bit of gold. So, and this one is also Arteza. This is their violet. And I feel like I could go in two directions with this. I could do the, the cerulean with the violet, which would be really cool, or the cerulean with the green. And I'm not entirely sure which way I want to go with that yet. So we'll figure it out. This one is Golden's Payne's Gray. And I have two cups of this, one cup for my pour and one cup as my base coat color that's been thinned out. And this one is also the first time I'm playing with this. This is Sargent's Liquid Metal in gold. So I've used Sargent's Copper before, which is beautiful stuff. My friend Gail Burston of Life and Splatters told me about this stuff and it's just, it's gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this one. This is their gold. So. Check out Gail's page too. Her channel is amazing. She's been doing some really, really cool stuff lately. And it's just like, it blows my mind when she does the close up videos, which is just like really incredibly detailed, like tapestry almost. It's so cool. Okay, so we're gonna do a wing pour. I hope you guys watched HOA's hot rod wing pour. It was so cool. I was like so impressed with his like perfect, just that second wing pour was just, all of them were amazing, but it just, Hats off to HOA, man. He blew it out of the water, so. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so because I want to do a wing pour, I want to use the wider, flatter spout area, part area, not the spout. So, okay, first color in, we're going to put our Payne's Gray. Okay, and now we're going to put some of that Cerulean in. Okay. I think I'm going to put a little bit of gold. I think we're going to come back to the Payne's Gray, but just a much smaller layer. And I'm going to put some of that violet in now. And some of the cerulean blue. Okay, we're going to come back to the gold again. And this time I'm gonna put that pearl cactus green in. So that's a 24 by 24 inch canvas. For that size, we need about 21 ounces of paint, which is me filling this up all the way to the top. Okay, so pearl cactus green, let's go a little bit of gold on the other side of that too. And now we're gonna go back to a small layer of paints. to the Payne's Gray again. And a little more violet. And then I'm gonna come back to the Cerulean. And then we're gonna end it with one more layer of Payne's. Kind of a thicker layer. Okay. All right, so now our cup is layered and we're going to thin out our base coat even more if we need to. I think we do need to because today it's really hot again. I think there's another heat wave. <laughs> it was 103 here yesterday. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I think we just need to thin it up just a little bit. So this is a little tricky today because normally for a wing pour I would want my paint thicker so it holds those lines better. But because it's so hot, 
which I should have probably put GAC 800 in here, but I did not. But if you live someplace where it gets very, very hot, GAC 800 is a great thing because you can, I use about a teaspoon per cup and it helps prevent crazing and cracking because it slows down the drying time of your paint. So, okay, that's pretty good. Let's lay down our base coat. And so the reason I layer the cup first is because if I put my base coat down first and then I take the time to layer that, this is starting to set up and dry. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to be nice and fluid and stay nice and fluid. Actually, I'm gonna move these out of the way so that I can get over into the shade a little bit more. Because I don't want the sun hitting the canvas right now directly. Okay. Lay down our base coat. do it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take my little friend here and we're going to prop up the canvas and we're going to do a wing pour, but we're going to do it a little differently. Mm. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am indeed, lass. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that worked pretty cool. <laughs> worked better than I expected it to. All right, let's see. Let's give this a quick torch, pop any air bubbles that are in there. And notice I did not torch the base coat. I'm just torching Okay, let's stretch this out. So we've got this pretty serpentine pattern going back and forth here, which HOA did that in one of his, and it was just so cool, and I was like, oh! Okay, here we go. I'm actually gonna take it straight down a little bit more first. Because I don't wanna have to come back to that corner. for a second. I really like it. <laughs> it worked. Yay. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking about whether or not I should leave this part on here or if I should tilt it off because I'd love to see this stretched out more. 
Okay, good. and I don't want to leave too much paint on there because it is very hot today. I'm gonna come down this way a little bit. Tiered chandelier necklaces. <laughs> I really like that a lot. It's awesome. I'll take this back down this one just a little bit. So there's only one more thing that I need to do. And that's because we didn't actually go off this corner. You can see the edge is still kind of naked. So I'm going to come in here with some Payne's Gray. I have to thin out some of this one. Yeah. Oh, the painting? Is that better? I'm just going to put Payne's Gray here on the corner. Have it go over that edge a little bit and cover everything nicely. Okay, and now that that's on there, I'm just going to take my spatula and I'm going to smooth it out just a touch. And I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have just tilted it. do now. But that's the reason that I thinned out the paint is so that it would move easily. Almost there. I don't want to mess with the composition of the painting. Then tilt it. And it looks like it's slightly different color because of the flow troll, but it'll be just fine. When it dries, it'll be the same. Okay. And just put that run off. Just like that. I don't want to change the composition. Stop it. Shove that back over this way. Shoving is a very handy tool, and I don't know if you guys have seen me do it a lot of times, but if I'm tilting like down and I don't want to lose too much of the paint, I just literally shove it over really fast and get the weight of the paint more towards the middle. messing with it and leave that alone because I think it's pretty cool. So thank you to HOA for the inspiration and the idea of doing that serpentine wing pour. I think it turned out really cool. I really like it. Okay, so I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Should I do the shade more? 
Okay, so this is a couple of days later. This turned out really, really, really beautiful. I love these fingerlings from the wing pour that we did. That sort of serpentine back and forth. It's just beautiful, beautiful lines in there. And Payne's gray and that cobalt blue. It's gorgeous with the gold and then the cactus green that had a lot of gold in it. Very neat stuff. I really like this one. I love it. It looks like negative space, but then like up here at the top. So pretty. Very metallic. I think I need to put some varnish on top of this one or maybe some resin if I ever stop being a chicken. This would, I think it would really pop. I mean, it's very blingy right now already, but the darker parts, the solid base coaty sort of stuff is not as, I don't know, clear. Almost looks a little hazy because maybe my gold was a little thin and left sort of a sheen on the surface of everything. Because I don't really see a lot of gold by itself. I see it next to the cactus. I mean, it's okay. It's a really cool piece. I really like this. I love this part in here. It's like fingerling action going on. It's really amazing. So thank you to HOA for a wonderful idea for doing that serpentine wing pour. It turned out pretty cool. And uh, you know, I might have to play with that some more. So this was a lot of fun. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with us. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.